How's it going? Welcome back, my beautiful sinners, to another great and amazing video with your boy, the savior. That's right, welcome back to the channel. Get excited and get quonky with it, okay? Go down below and smack my haunch, my sweaty, moist haunch, okay? And join the channel today to become a sinner. That's right, let's face it, it's 2021, boys. The world is decaying around us. We are being ruled by tyrannical overlords and the world is slowly decaying so it's the best time to become a sinner and together we can find the right and true path with your boy the savior that's right join the channel and be saved by the savior today join this amazing smaller community and join the channel become a member for extra content and shout outs for your channel check out the music that i make on all music platforms spotify and bandcamp download it support it that would mean a great deal to me do yourself a favor and join this channel check out all the other videos this channel is not like anything else on youtube you will find something unique i promise you we expose all of the bs we create we create magical and family friendly progressive content so don't worry about it kiddos today my sinners we are discussing netflix and the stranger things 4 that's right stranger things season 4 is actually coming out stranger things season 4 is actually coming out next year in 2022 and let's face it okay 2020 and 2021 things have been pretty dry okay netflix has completely dominated the market now we all know that hollywood is slowly decaying and dying and that's a good thing because hollywood is basically the cesspool of all demon filth that ever lives okay you know all of their weird cult-like behavior Everything that they do in Hollywood is just disgusting and it's great to see that people now are breaking down the barriers with celebrity worship culture and they don't respect Hollywood anymore because they know they are just rich elite scumbags. Funding all kinds of corporations and doing all kinds of evil deeds, that's why Hollywood is now out but sadly we have something else to replace it and Netflix isn't really any better because it's just another mega corporation which basically dominates all of entertainment which can shove all kinds of agendas into everything that they create but the good thing about Netflix is it does let independent film and TV studios be creative and it doesn't limit too much what goes on a wider range of TV shows and movies can exist on Netflix so that is a good thing but obviously it is a horrible algorithmic machine that just wants as much money and as much watch time as possible. That's why Netflix will never let you rest. If you stop watching a show, it will just keep on going forever and ever. You can actually die from a stroke on your couch like a goddamn couch potato. And in this generation of people, let's face it, we're all goddamn beached whales on our couches consuming Netflix, a lot of people anyway. And Netflix doesn't care. It will happily continue brainwashing you with its programming even if you die from a stroke on your couch <laughs> i can just imagine some fat beached whale on their couch popcorn dripping from their mouth as they're slowly twitching out of existence but netflix is still showing them all kinds of wonderful programming because it never stops you can't even watch the credits anymore on netflix it doesn't even let you appreciate the people who make these things okay it just jumps on to the next thing you know it's very very annoying i don't really like netflix but it does allow for smaller studios to be more creative and it doesn't limit different types of programming completely of course the mainstream shows usually are very progressive and all of this kind of stuff but it could be worse netflix does allow for a wider range of programming so that is good better than hollywood anyway so sorry i got a little bit off topic okay i'm sorry my sinners do not whip me daddy okay i'm sorry i got a little bit off topic but i just wanted to cover netflix briefly because i did make a video about it check it out if you want it's the problem with netflix stranger things okay stranger things was a great show let's be real okay there wasn't anything like it it had a very unique vibe the soundtrack of course i love it as a synth music producer myself the synth wave aesthetic i just absolutely love it I love the cinematography, the story was gripping, all of the characters were engaging. The first season was just truly amazing television, okay? It was one of the best TV shows probably in the last 20 years. And season two was pretty good as well, okay? Not bad, not bad. But then of course, Netflix realized that it was so popular, they could make so much money from this, that they just had to keep on squeezing it. So they made Stranger Things season three. And I did do a brief review of Stranger Things Season 3 because I didn't like it, okay? I personally thought it was really, really boring. The story was terrible. The writing pretty much fell on its face. The characters basically all became a bunch of 
douchebag whiny teenagers but of course they still had to try and hold on to the charming aspects of what made them interesting to begin with as kids which just kind of made it feel really cringy and forced and it was just really bad in my opinion you know all of the characters were just pretty sloppy it all felt like they all went through their arcs in season one and season two and in season three they basically didn't have any room for development and it was basically just just stretching it out just for that extra money just for that extra season and personally i thought it was really cheap and tacky and not engaging whatsoever the main villain being this time russians and that crazy chiseled chadwick man i can't remember his name but you know it was just it just wasn't that engaging it wasn't scary anymore you know the first two seasons of stranger things really felt impactful and it really made you feel actually tense and nervous because Stranger Things was always a joy to watch with the story development and the characters development and the charming connection and bond between the kid characters you know that was really heartwarming to watch all of these different characters interacting and caring about each other and going on their own arcs changing with the show seeing the relationship form with uh, Nancy and uh, the crazy guy and the older brother, I can't remember his name, it's been a while since I watched it, okay, so forgive me, I'm not some Stranger Things massive nerd, okay, I don't know every single character's name, I just remember when I watched it, it was a good show, okay, and, you know, it had a few missteps, like that really, the really cringy episode, the really bad episode where Elle basically becomes an X-Men warrior fighting superhero, Personally, I thought Stranger Things 1 and 2 were pretty good, okay, and they all went through their character arcs. We saw a nice relationship form between the toothless one and the, and the smaller Chadwick. You know, it was all pretty good, okay? And then Stranger Things just ruined it, like I said. They had no more room for development. The writing felt sloppy. The characters were kind of more cringeworthy and boring and just unlikable more now than ever. It had way more of a it had much more of a progressive attitude and agenda forced into it. It had much more of a political agenda forced into it, I thought. And the theme, the actual tone and theme and vibe of the show just completely fell on its face. It wasn't scary anymore. It didn't have any kind of suspense. It was just kind of cringeworthy, if you ask me. You know, just loud, obnoxious humor because <laughs> that's funny and Netflix wants money, okay? That's pretty much what it was. I didn't like it personally. And the whole summer aesthetic and the lack of lighting and shadows and you know good cinematography it just it just made it all feel underwhelming and not impactful it didn't feel scary whatsoever watching it and that was that was the thing that was so great about the first season and the second season it really was a nice blend of sci-fi and horror but the third season was just cringeworthy teenagers not developing character development just completely stopping the lack of character development and the lack of suspense and interesting atmosphere just really hurt it. Season 4 of Stranger Things is coming out in 2022, okay? And I personally think that season I personally think that Stranger Things season 4 will suck. Stranger Things season 4 sucks, okay? Or it will suck. I can't say for sure now, obviously, because it hasn't come out yet, but I really do think that Stranger Things season 4 will be bad and it won't be any good, okay? Because the problem is with season 3, it just went way over the top with, you know, all of this crazy over the top action. It didn't really feel like, it didn't have any kind of suspense or horror anymore. And all of the characters now are just kind of lame and it's not scary, it's not interesting to watch. And I just feel like it was already pushing it in Stranger Things season 3, just making it, you know, like kind of cringeworthy humor to appeal to the masses. Just basically destroying the characters and the atmosphere. And basically in season 4 it's going to be even worse, it's going to be the, the characters are going to be even older now, so basically detaching them even more from their original charm. And personally I think they're all pretty unlikable actually as they grow up. Maybe they change in season 4 and become more likable again, maybe it goes back to its roots, but I doubt that because it's Netflix after all and they're just pushing it out more so they can make more money and I feel like it's just going to be over the top action, not good writing and cringeworthy kind of humor. It's just never going to be like Stranger Things season one. And that's the problem, isn't it? Now we live in a time where we have to have endless sequels, endless remakes and reboots. Instead of just having something original and enjoying it because it was original, for example, Star Wars, they just have to keep on regurgitating 
they just have to keep on regurgitating the same old thing. They can't leave something alone. They just have to bring it back from the dead. They just have to reanimate it. Even if it's kicking and screaming, it just wants to die. But no, this is 2021, okay? And they just have to bring anything back that is popular. And I honestly think it's just going to suck because it's already said and done everything that it needed to do. It already did and said everything that it needed to. It already completed its full story arc, if you ask me, in season one and season two. And season three was terrible, and I'm pretty sure that Stranger Things season four will suck, and it won't be any good, and it's just going to be really cringeworthy and bad. But who knows, they might surprise me. Those are just my thoughts and opinions on Netflix and Stranger Things Season 4 in 2022. Let me know what you think down below in the comments, my sinners. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.